hello everyone welcome to rpa learners and in this video we're going to see how to use get table row and get table column keywords in robocorp in the last video we have seen how to use pop table row and pop table column and these two keywords are similar uh, get table row is similar to the pop table row and get table column is similar to the pop table column and what is the difference between these two and how they are different let's see uh, by implementing it in the visual studio and the get table column row here has three arguments in the table row and the list in the table column you need to mention the table name and the column name right so what is the difference the pop get table row actually removes the row from the table and gives it back as a data row but in the get data row it will not remove the row from the table but it gives you the particular row that you are searching for so here we already have the pop table row and we are using the rpa.tables library and we are reading the dt.csv file and we are getting the data in a dt and we are we are getting second row from the table and let's not create a variable let's write this back to the csv so that we can see how the pop uh, is behaving and then we will see how get data row get table row will work now uh, dt and then path let's mention it is dt2.csv because we already have dt1 then dt let's execute this what it will do it will remove the second row from the table that it has and it will give us and i will open the both input and the output files so that we can see how it is working and implementing it the keyword and now it is completed let's let me open this dt1.csv first and dt2.csv as well so that we will have a comparison right here it is the dt1.csv which is our input uh, which has if you see here uh, the column which is miss the row which is missing is a 0 1 2 so it is a third row so in third row here we have different values and here we have different values it taken that out and then given us the that particular row as an output so this is how the pop table row works and the pop table column as well it is the same um, way that it works and if you see here uh, if i refresh this if you go here and pop table row after pop table row we have that particular row removed from the table now here we need to change it to get table row and let me delete dt2 and let's start executing it this time it won't remove the value of the row from the table it only uses the particular row again and the execution is completed let's open dt2.csv now and see whether we have all the rows or not we are getting the same so if you see here it is a different value now the value is here but we got the output of that particular row again in the log file if you go here if you refresh this if you see get table row we got the row but it not is it not removed from the table and let's remove writing it from to the column and let's uh, go to the next keyword which is get table column get table column you need to provide the table which is dt and then the column name what is the column name let's get the column number again let's save this let's start executing it and see it won't remove the column from the table but it gives us the output of that particular column so this is the use the different use if you want to remove whatever the rows that you already processed from the workflow or the table you can remove it let's say if you have 10 and you want to process one row of the, the other and you want to empty that particular table and 
to process for the second iteration or some other values so that you can remove it use pop table row instead of get table row and the pop table column is a similar way and here we got this numbers column but it won't remove it from the dt and that's it for this video and this is these are the differences between the get table row and the pop table row and the get table column and the pop table column and that's it if you find this video helpful give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching